Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. This is Coco from Planning with Coco. Today I am setting up my tutoring, I guess tutoring planner slash notebook. Um, school is back in session, so that means um, parents are looking for tutors. I tutor through a company called Wazant, and that is linked in the description below if you are a parent who has a child who is struggling. I teach all subjects. I'm in school to be a teacher, so I have lots of resources to offer. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to set up this notebook. This is a big, um, I think it was a student notebook. Um, it says, she's a dreamer who sees possibility everywhere she goes. I was using a different planner, um, but I thought I might switch things up and because I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. So, um, first things first, I am going to swap out the discs because these mini discs are not going to be big enough. Um, I am going to be using white metal discs. I think it looks really pretty like that. Um, so, let's start by taking off the covers. Now, when I set up a planner, I always start with the covers, and then I add the discs. I have no idea what this stain is, so please ignore it. I don't, I don't know where it came from. I think it might be, my daughter had fish sticks for lunch. I think it might be ketchup, um, but anyways, ignore it. I'm sorry. Um, I, for some reason, only grabbed nine discs. I need 11 because this is a big... So, I'll have to grab two more. But anyways, when I start with um, redoing a planner, I always start with the two covers because it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to grab those two discs. There we go. I already think that looks so cute. Um, Alright, so then I have, I've been using a big extension pack, um, but I'm down to my last month. Um, I used the first, I think it comes with four months, and I used the first three months um, last year when school was in, so I'm out of that. I need to order another one. I just haven't had, I don't want to order just the extension pack. Um, and this is what, I've already dated it. I just haven't filled it out yet. I'll do a plan with me on that. This was just to try to get back in the hang of things. Um, as you can see, this half is not filled out. This half is filled out. But this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, I used the Girl with Goals extension pack, or not extension pack, the Girl with Goals sticker pack that goes along with this um, extension pack. And for the little computers are my online sessions um, with my students. Right now I have two, potentially three, um, but I have open availability except on Thursdays. Um, just, well, I have Thursday mornings, but um, Thursday evenings are not available because I have two or two other students. But um, anyway, so this is what the layout looks like. And then you have um, things to follow up on, a task list, and then it goes into the week. I don't use these two sheets. Like, I don't use them at all. So, I always end up taping them together. Um, and then, of course, I date it and that sort of thing. Which, I'll do another plan with me for all of that. But right now, we're just setting this up. So, um, let me grab my bookmark for this week. Um, here it is. Uh-oh. It's still kind of flimsy because there's not very much in here. So... There's my bookmark for the week. And then back here, I think I already put the other notebook up. Um, I'll grab it in a minute, but I'm going to add these dividers for my students. Because I like to keep track and take notes while we're tutoring. Um, I like to 
note like what um, what they're struggling with or what they're doing well on or um, things like that like what we need to work on the progress that they've made little assessments that sort of thing like if they have any upcoming tests um, I like to do all of that and I don't need all of this paper so. um. just a few sheets of paper for each one and this notebook comes with dotted lined paper I really like it it's pretty simple The reason why I put this on medium discs and not the mini discs is because when I order another extension pack, it's going to get pretty thick, plus with the decorating and then, um, so for each student, like, I have my potential third student, um, had to cancel, so I'm not sure if they're going to reschedule or not, but like, I have picked out, like, they're working on reading fluency, so I printed off these sheets just for me, like, I do it online, but this is for me so that I can, like, circle and then kind of, like, keep track of, uh, um, how many words they read per minute, um, and then I take notes throughout, our session of what we're working on so that's kind of how I set this up so this is actually my third student so I'm gonna put this in the back because I haven't actually started tutoring this student yet um, and then here I'm gonna put all I have is just one sheet of paper um, this student we're working on reading um, our sight words She's not quite in school yet. She's she's four and a half, almost five. But this student here, my next student, um, I work with him four days a week. I work with him, or maybe it's three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday is the days I work with him. Um, so he's going to go up in the front. Uh-oh. Um, since I work with him the most, I'm going to need the most access to his paperwork. Um, and so like, here's an example, like I print off their worksheets, like, um, I did, he, we're working on math and, um, I did a math interest survey with him to see what he likes about math, what he doesn't like about math how he learns best, um, what he thinks his, um, math ability is, um, what he wants to work on and how he, what his goals are and that sort of thing. So that's what I like to keep track of, um, with my students. So I know this is a quick video, but that is all I have. Um, like I said, if you're interested in a tutor, please look me up. I The link is in the description below. Um, I charge $30 an hour. Um, and I charge $30 an hour because I actually only get 75% of that amount. Um, so it ends up being like $22.50 is what I actually end up getting paid. Um, but your first session is free if you don't like it. And I also offer a 30-minute free consultation either over the phone or via Zoom. So it's up to you. Um, but like I said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching.